Hey, what's up everybody? Isaac here, Civil Engineering Academy, coming at you again with another quick tip video. Today I wanted to talk to you real quickly about jobs, and what I'm talking about specifically is how long should you stay at a job so it doesn't look like you're a job hopper on your resume. And you know, there's a variety, re variety of reasons why you might want to leave your job, whether it's um, you got into it and what you were expecting isn't uh, what's happening there, or maybe you just hate it, or maybe your supervisor sucks. I don't know. Could be any one of those things. So today we're going to talk about it. Make sure that uh, your resume does not look bad and it doesn't look like you're a job hopper. Uh, I'm sharing my opinion about this topic. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. Let's do this. All right, guys, welcome back. So let's talk about it. Um, how long should you stay at a job so it doesn't look like you're a job hopper, especially if you hate the job that you're in? This happens a lot. Maybe you've gotten into a new position and you don't like it. In fact, the company Glassdoor.com, which deals with a lot of employee-related information, salaries, surveys, and such, they actually did a survey recently, and they said that six out of 10 em employees, when they get to a job, what they were expected when you know what they thought isn't what they uh, the job actually turned out to be so how many of us have done that maybe you've gone into a job you were expecting certain things and you actually get the job you're working there and it's not what you expected so they said six out of ten people when they get jobs like this it's not what they expected uh, another interesting statistic is that the actual medium of people staying at jobs according to the to the Bureau of Labor and Statistics is about four years so that that seems actually kind of a long time actually today but uh, if you break it down into age they said that between the ages of, of 25 and 34 that number actually comes down to three years so I would say for those that have just got their PE license they're probably in that age range uh, you're only sticking around at a job for an average of three years. So, um, you know, that's a good chunk of time. But what looks crappy on a resume? That's the question I have. And so it's my opinion that before you go bouncing around to a new job, you probably want to stay there for at least 12 to 18 months. So a year, year, to, year and a half. Um, that way it doesn't look like you are just bouncing between jobs all the time. A year doesn't look too bad on a resume um, but what I would encourage you to do if you really hate the place is that you really need to find highlights of the company that you're in um, let's say that you're six months into the job and you absolutely hate it um, you still want to find things that you can develop whether it's skills whether that company can send you to trainings that you find interest in or maybe you, there's someone that you can find as a mentor maybe you want to learn more PM related skills or even design skills from a principal engineer or something find something that you enjoy there and try to hone your skills on certain things so that you can you know get to that 12 month or 18 month mark before you bail out um, obviously before you do bail out you want a job lined up in the meantime before you do that but anyway that's my recommendation hang on for 12 to 18 months so it doesn't look like you're jumping around at different jobs and you know take advantage of the things that you have there learn new skills um, if you're not learning anything on the job then go outside of that you know find an online course find a, a conference find something a book find things that you can do outside of work that would still allow you to grow and move forward and develop new skills because one day you will find the job that you like and you'll want to stay there for a long time and you need to hone those skills so that's my recommendation hope this helped you out head to civilengineeringacademy.com for more tips and tricks related to the exams that you're taking or just career advice in general and also make sure you check out ceacommunity.com you can join up with our free community there you can ask anything about career advice or anything related to the exams anything civil engineering we love it there good participation so anyway thanks for hanging around and uh, we'll see you in the next one bye